Good evening and happy hump day, everybody. It's your girl, C. Witt, reporting live from Las Vegas with tonight's honorees. We are at the Distinguished Authors Guild Awards, the third annual, and this year the nominees are none other than Chester and Alette Washington. And we have been on the strip having a good time, but now it's almost showtime. And I wanted to go live for a little while just to test the temperature of the water. You have your book set up, the red carpet is set up. I want to start with the lady, Chester. I let how you feeling tonight? Well, I'm feeling most fabulous for this uh, great event, and I can't wait to get started. I've been waiting for over four minutes much for this moment to occur so we're here we are indeed here chester just to think that this all started with your own personal story did you ever think it would take you all the way to sin city no i really didn't but i'm glad to be here i'm excited to be part of this great event so i let i saw you mixing and mingling there are other authors in the room they have their books on display for sale, for show, for signature. How does it feel to be amongst all of this literary elite? It feels awesome because it's like all of this African-American magic uh, from all across the United States. I even see a few people from Gary, Indiana. Oh, you can't go anywhere without seeing people from Gary. Come on now. And so it's, uh, I'm really elated. Uh, I'm looking forward to telling people about our books that we've written. and. Um, buying some books as well and that's also what it's all about so for those of you who have not seen our previous lives we've talked about this and we have built the excitement but there are a choice select amount of authors in the room today and they have been invited because they've been nominated for this award the distinguished authors guild awards and I let which of your books see I have to say with plural which of your books have been nominated for tonight well, miraculously, both of our books have been nominated. Never Too Young, My Grenada, Mississippi Story, and Good Character Matters. Uh, I believe we've been nominated in the children's category and the nonfiction. I'm not sure. We won't know until the uh, events start, that portion of the program. Well, like I've already said, to be in this space, to be in this place, you two are already winners in my book. Call me biased because they're family, but there was no way that I would miss tonight's awards ceremony. To set the stage, when we go live a little bit later, there will be a full ceremony, a red carpet where we walk the red carpet, and I just want to build some more excitement and ex suspense. But Chester, before we get out of here with this first segment, I always love for you to give a word of encouragement to someone who has a dream, who has a story to tell, what do you say to them to get them to this space like you are today? Tell your story. Tell it emphatically. Tell your story. It needs to be heard. There it is. Tell your story emphatically. This is your girl, C. Witt. Now jump on over to my Instagram page. We're going to do some live coverage there. And you guys go ahead and finish getting set up. I'm going to grab some color, some video, and let everybody see what I see. So we are here and we have other authors who are also getting set up. They're signing their books. The room is starting to fill up and I'm just delighted to be here to be able to cover my sister, an accomplished author. She and her husband put together their own story, his true story as told to him as told to her by him and she put it together and by them being in the category of youth she put together as the educator that she is a workbook that goes with their book never too young what's that you don't have the book yet wait a minute let me put the camera on it so you can get on over to Amazon and get your copies never too young and my Grenada Mississippi story good character matters and never too young my Grenada Mississippi story now my sister mentioned earlier that there are also individuals here from Gary Indiana and I want to send a special shout out to Lisa Bennett who has also been nominated tonight and we'll get her on the red carpet a little bit later she's hobnobbing with her fellow literary colleagues and Anytime there's greatness in the room, you always know there are going to be people from Gary, Indiana. Special shout out to my media colleague, Greg Gray, is somewhere in the building. He's shooting, and you'll have his 
high quality, high definition videos to watch from this illustrious occasion. And I also want to say a special shout out to all of the other nominees and authors who are being showcased tonight. A special thanks to Gina Gadsden for putting all of this together. She has been in Vegas for a few days getting ready for tonight. And it just has this whole Oscar-esque appeal. And I couldn't be more excited for my sister. Again, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. So I ask that you share the video. More importantly, get the books, get the books, get the books. And then one last look at these co-authors, my family, my sister, my best friend for life, the Washingtons. Congratulations, Chester. Congratulations, Alette. You're seeing 25 plus years of marriage right here. And then you're seeing ink on the pages of his story. God is good. We'll be back.